friends! I'm excited for art this week. We've been learning all about the element of line in art. We've been using lines to make all kinds of cool art projects. And today we're going to continue with that. I thought it was really fun last week when I was in the kindergarten and I came into the classroom and they said, what are we doing for art today? And I said, we're learning about lines and we're going to use lines in art. And one of the kindergartners said, lions? I like lions. They live in Africa. Well, it's really easy to get confused sometimes because lion, this is a lion, right? Spelled L-I-O-N. And this animal lives in two places in the world. They live in Africa and a little tiny part of India. There's also lions. And it sounds so much like the word line. This is what we were doing last week is lines. L-I-N-E-S, lines and lions. It sounds a lot the same, so I can see how that kindergartner got a little bit confused. Well, today I got thinking about lions and lines and how we could combine them. So this is what I was thinking. We could learn all about lions. So we're going to watch a video about lions, which we just watched. And I'm going to ask you some questions about what you learned about lions, where they live, how they live, what they do every single day, what it's like to be a lion. If you were a lion, what would your life be like? So we'll study a little bit about lions, lions, and then we're going to use lines to draw some lions today. So friends, let's get to it and make our lions with lines. Okay, friends, today we're going to make a lion lion using all kinds of different lines for his mane. The mane on the lion is all that fuzzy hair that's all around his face. Only the males or the boy lions have that, not the girl lions. So we're going to put all the different line patterns around our lion's face for his mane. And we're going to see how many different kinds of lines we can make on our line lion. So for this project, you just need a piece of white art paper and we're gonna use some crayons today. And I have lots of different colors of brown that you can use. I'm, I looked through my crayons and I picked out these colors to use, which are all the warm colors on the color wheel. They're all the colors on the warm side. I think of warm colors when I think of these colors because I saw where the lion lived and he lives in a warm place and there's lots of warm colors around the lions. So that's what we're going to use today. So we're gonna start with our black first. So first of all, take your black crown and make a big U shape. Just like that. Then we're going to connect the top of our U. Then on the each corner over here, we're going to make, this side's gonna be like a backwards letter C. And this side's going to be like a forward letter C. And inside of there, we're going to repeat that same line. Those are the lion's ears. Next, we're going to make his mouth. So we're going to start here at the bottom. And we're going to make an upside down V shape or a triangle, like the top of a triangle. I noticed on this real lion that he does have that shape right there on his mouth. Next, we're going to make a V just above that triangle, like this. Leave a little bit of space between then you're gonna connect the top of your V. And let's draw a straight line down to this. The bottom of the V to the top of that triangle. All right, that's the lion's nose. And above the lion's nose, we're gonna draw a line, a straight line coming down to the corner of the V and another straight line. And then we're going to connect these at the top. And that's the lion's nose. And you can do any kind of eyes you want. If you want them to look kind of mean or tough like this, a spine, 
then a curve, a U shape underneath. I'm going to do that. Line, U shape. Or if you just want to make circle eyes or oval eyes, that's fine too. Then I'm going to draw a little half circle inside his eye. And I'm going to make another little circle. And I'm going to leave the smallest circle white. And I'm going to color in the bigger circle black. Yeah, this lion looks like he's very serious and he means business. All right, and then one more thing, since he's a lion, you could just leave his mouth like this, or if you want it to be open, you could add some teeth. He's roaring. All right, now we're going to make the mane or all the hair around his face. Remember, this is the part where we're going to use lines, lots of different lines. So first I'm going to start with straight lines and let's make a bunch. I'm going to start right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm going to make fifteen straight lines. Then after that, I'm going to make some zigzag lines and you can use any colors you want. Okay, friends, there you have it, your line lion. I hope you guys had fun learning about lions and lines and combining them in art today. We'll see you again next time. <laughs>